Well, hello, Internet, and welcome to my tutorial on how to do a whole bunch of things in Facebook, but we're going to really focus in on the three different ways to use the Like button inside of your website, which would be to just simply link to your personal page on Facebook. Also, how to link to your website using a Like button, and also how to like individual pages on your website. So the users on your website are going to have the ability to actually like individual articles. And on top of that, I'm going to show you how to use the Open Graph protocol to make your website part of the Facebook network. And I'm going to answer a whole bunch of other questions that you guys have sent me over the last couple of days. First, so let's jump into the like button. The easiest way to add your like button to your WordPress site is just simply to come in here and let's say facebook.com forward slash new think tank. This is silly, silly easy. All right, so just enter in your Facebook page or whatever you want. Zoom in here a little bit. And then you can choose to either have the send button or not have it. You can choose all your different options, whatever you want to put on there. You can define your overall width to make sure it shows up. You can choose to show the faces instead of just the names. And you could also change your different color schemes and even your font. And after you do all that, you click on Get Code. Remember, this is super, super easy. And you're going to select what pops up on your screen here. Hit OK. Jump over into Widgets underneath of Appearance inside of WordPress. And if you can't see this, you can watch this full screen high def. And then choose a widget where you want it to go. Put a title in and paste the code in there. And then hit save, of course. And that's it. Now you have your Facebook like button in your widget section. But now I'm going to show you something a lot neater, which is in regard to how to actually link to each individual page on your website. This is something really cool. I'm going to open up my code section and inside of functions.php, and if you don't know where that is, I'm going to show it to you right now. Just come in here to the WordPress dashboard and under appearance again, go to editor, click on that. And over on the right side of your screen, one of these guys is going to say functions.php underneath of it. You're going to click on that. And then inside of this code area here, you can see my code right here for my Facebook button. And I'm going to go through here bit by bit and explain exactly what it does. And you can see that I just typed all this in inside of functions.php very, very close to the end. So let's jump over into the code area. And of course, all this code is available in a link in the underbar, so you don't even have to understand it to be able to use it. But I'm going to go into explaining it either way. So I'm going to create a function. And again, this goes in function.php. And I'm going to call it NTT Facebook like just a basic function here and then what I want to do is I want to get the current web page that the user is on I want to get that exact URL so I'm going to go current create myself a variable inside of here and if you want to get the page that they currently are on just type in server bracket and then type in server underscore name bracket dot server bracket and what this is going to do is it's going to return the full web address for whatever page they are currently on on your website. Okay, so we got that inside of there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump back over into the like button section and get all the code for the button. It doesn't really matter what I put here. You're going to see why in a minute. But let's just say I say newthinktank.com. In this situation, I'm going to say standard so I get a little bit more information here. And I'm going to jump down here, hit get code just like before. And I'm going to select all of this code, copy it, jump back into my text editor editor or you could be doing this right in your website itself in the editor that it's provided through WordPress. I'm going to create another variable. I'm going to call this FB like code is equal to I'm going to put a single quote and I'm going to paste in all of that code that Facebook provided. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to close off all these sections here, put all this on one line. And as I'm putting this in here, I'm going to put a backslash in front of any single quotes so that PHP is aware of where the original single quote is. That's why I'm putting these backslashes in there. It allows me to use it, but at the same time, the PHP will not get confused. Continue going through here putting backslashes right before head, another backslash, another backslash. And then right where you get to data dash H reference, we're going to close this off with a single quote right like that. And I'm going to leave all this information here. And I'm going to go FB like code is equal to take the variable and PHP. If you want to add on additional information, what we're going to add on to this is the actual URL page that they're currently on. So there you go. So that's going to automatically insert that inside of there. And then I don't need this anymore. More. So I'm going to cut that out of there. And then we're going to go FB like code. I'm just going to copy this right here. Put that inside of it. Single quote right there. I'm going to come down here. Put another single quote. 
and then close that guy off. So now this is going to automatically create a like button depending upon whatever page the person's on and will give them the capability to like individual articles on your website, which is really cool and not that complicated. And then at the end, this is what we call a WordPress short code. I'm gonna go FB, like code, and I'm gonna close this guy off. And what this is gonna allow you to do is, I'm gonna type in add short code, N-T-T-F-B-L-E-I-K, and then here is gonna be the function that is gonna be called, so I'm just gonna copy that, paste that in there. And what this is gonna allow you to do as a WordPress user, is anywhere you want this like button to show up on your page, you're just simply gonna put this opening bracket, N-T-T-F-B like, right like that, and then save your post and or your page, and the like button will automatically appear every time you type in this code anywhere. And that is all you're gonna need to do to be able to create custom like buttons for all of your posts and pages on WordPress. And to just simply have a like code, short code, whatever you wanna call it, like you had before, that's only gonna link to an individual page. Well, I kinda dismantled that. You just come in here again, click get code. So if you wanted to link, for example, to your website and allow people to tell their friends about how great your work, your website is. Well, FB like code, you're just going to come in here and delete all of this stuff, paste, put a closing quote right like that. And now you're able to create a specific like button for your specific website. And of course, you could come in here and change this to facebook.com forward slash and whatever your username is on Facebook to be able to allow people to like that as well. Another thing that I hear all the time is people want to know what their user ID on Facebook is and what their user ID for their pages are. Well, if you just simply type in graph.facebook.com as I have here on the screen forward slash and your user ID on Facebook, it's going to kick back your ID as well as your name. And this is all public information that's available to anybody. And if I wanted to get the user ID and some information on my page, I just type in the user ID for that, hit enter, and you can see right there is the user ID for my new Think Tank page on Facebook. So that's kind of cool. Another thing that's really neat is you'll then be able to track things on facebook.com forward slash insights. And I just set this up an hour ago. That's why there's not that much site and engagement and information in regards to that. You can also tie into the open graph graph protocol by simply putting in a couple meta tags as you can see right here and again this is facebook.com forward slash insights what you want to do is you want to copy all of this code this meta tag for example and put it over in your header.php section this will automatically hook you into the Facebook network so we're going to copy this and right here and what this is going to represent is an admin and let's say I do this for a new think tank it's not going to matter com and then you can link with you can have administrators administrators be these other different pages inside of Facebook or what have you. I'm just going to cancel in this situation. And I'm going to open up my text editor. And again, this would be in header.php where you would put all this information. And you can see over here is where I define FB colon admins, which is exactly what I just copied off of that page. See, exact same thing. And the content part here is my user ID on Facebook. And I also linked in my page ID, and that is New Think Tank 208571. This number right here, I actually got from Facebook. So if we go insights for your website and we type in com, the new think tank, you can see it's going to pop out this meta tag right here. And just like I have right there, that's going to allow me to connect not only me, but also my personal website inside of Facebook. And it allows it very easily for people to transfer information. Other things you can define is the title of your web page that you're defining, what exactly this thing is. In this situation, it's a website, the URL for your web page, you could put in a description for your web page, again, for Facebook. You can define an email address. You can define an image that you want Facebook to use to represent your website. You could also put in phone numbers, latitude, longitude, street addresses, postal codes, and country names, as well as a couple other really, really, really bizarre things. So there's a whole bunch of different things you can do with Facebook and how you can integrate your website to better work with Facebook. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. Otherwise, till next time.